In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Desmos to check your answers for the multi I'm sorry, not multiplying, uh, dividing polynomials. So let's say I worked out an answer. I went ahead and I factored my polynomial in my numerator. I found it, canceled everything out. And I found an answer and I want to make sure that this answer is correct well what I could do is put in the original so let's say I have some original function x squared oops, um, plus 5x plus 6 so this is actually one of the problems in the notes over x plus 3 and it gives me this a linear function. So from here, let me zoom out. I could find my y-intercept, which is 2, and see that my slope is 1. So that would be 1x plus 2, which happened to be the answer. And you see that this line uh, lined up right over top. So if I go into my gear, and I can choose either one of these, it doesn't really matter and I change this so that it's the dotted line, I see that they are indeed lying on top of one another, so I know that that's the correct answer. And we can do that again. So this is another example from the notes. Six x squared, <clears throat> excuse me, six x squared plus thirteen x plus five, all over two x plus one. Again, they gave us a linear function, and I could find the y-intercept and find the slope. So here I see my y-intercept is five, and it looks like I'm going up three and over one, just to make sure. I could do x. Um, sorry, my slope is up 3 over 1, so 3x. So right now, I just put in 3x, and I see that these two lines are parallel, so I know I have at least the right slope. And then plus 5, and again, this line overlapped. So if I go back into my gear, and I change this to the dotted line, I again see that these two lines overlap. So that is the correct answer for this division problem.